So first we're going to look at position. Position is always measured relative to some reference point. So here the reference point will be 0, 0. This red dot, we would say it's 5 meters to the right of the reference point, or just 5 meters right. We could also say positive 5 meters right. Now this blue dot, it's to the left of the reference point, so we would say it's 5 meters left, or negative 5 meters. Now notice that a very important point here is that positive and negative signs in this case tell us only the direction. Now distance is similar in some ways and different in others. Um, the distance of the red dot compared to the reference point is just 5 meters. And the same is true for the blue dot. We'd also say that the distance is 5 meters. In this case, for distance, direction is not important. So obviously, those have some differences to them, position and um, distance. So a vector is something that has magnitude and direction. So when we say something is 5 meters left, we are using a vector by saying by giving a magnitude how much 5 meters and saying the direction as left. Also, we can give the direction as a negative sign. If it's to the left, we would say it's negative. So 5 meters negative would mean 5 meters to the left. A scalar is any kind of physical measurement that we make that only has magnitude. It tells us how much, but not what direction. Displacement is the change in position. So let's say the red dart starts at the positive 10 meter mark and then later on becomes negative, goes to the negative 2 meter mark sometime later. We'd say that the displacement is negative 12 meters. So I went here from 10 all the way over here to negative 2. So the displacement is negative 12 meters. Whenever we calculate a change in position or any change in values in physics, we always go final minus initial. In this case, final position minus initial position. The final position is negative 2 meters. It was right there, and we're going to subtract a positive 10 meter value, so that gives us negative 12 meters. So what that means is we are now negative 12 meters away from our original starting point, which was 10 meters. So the question there is this, is displacement a vector or a scalar? Well, it's a vector because distance is important. Velocity is calculated by taking the change in the position over a certain amount of time, and here's the equation. So notice the displacement on top and the change in time on the bottom. So final position minus initial position divided by final time minus initial time. So using the similar example, we started here, our initial position was at 10 meters, our final position was at negative 2 meters. So to plug it into our equation, our final position is negative 2 meters minus our initial position, which was at a positive 10 meter point, but we're subtracting it. Our final time was 2 seconds. Our initial time was 0 seconds. So we get negative 12 meters divided by 2 seconds, or negative 6 meters per second. So the units for velocity are in meters per second. And we're going to say that for this example, the velocity was negative 6 meters per second, or 6 meters per second to the left. So velocity, in this case, is a vector because direction is important. We have to say to the left, or we have to include the negative sign, which means to the left. Now finally, speed is the total distance over the time. So this is the calculation of speed. So um, in a similar situation, let's say we start here at the 10 meter mark and we end up at the 12 meter, at the, I'm sorry, the two meter, negative two meter mark, our distance is 12 meters. Notice that we're not putting a negative sign there. We're not saying it's to the left. It really doesn't matter to us. And we're going to divide that by 2 seconds. So that gives us a value of 6 meters per second. And there is no direction to it. So speed, in this case, is a scalar.